Hey, it's Mo. I am really glad you're here, as always. I just like to talk about makeup and I love that you're here. And I've had some really <laughs> good days with some natural light. Um, if you're new, I always film with natural light so that you can see what makeup really looks like um, on my real skin with my lines and with my scars and all the pores and all the real things that um, I have as a real person. And I like to keep it as um, realistic here as I can. It's kind of kind of my jam. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, last month, I don't remember how many weeks ago, I swatched all the e.l.f. primer infused shimmer blushes. So those are new, we'll say in the last couple of months. And I swatched all of those and um, a lot of people found that helpful and I agree because I say this a lot but when things are only available online um, it is so tricky to know what does that color really look like, what's the finish like, what's it really like. And a lot of times I have difficulty finding um, a comprehensive video where someone has swatched all the shades. And so uh, I decided I would do the same thing with the e.l.f. primer infused matte blushes. Now those are not new. They've been around for, I'm going to guess, two years. And maybe you've seen them in CVS or Target or wherever. There's like a few shades that I've seen over the last couple of years um, in store and I know they've always gotten good reviews um, but when I look on the e.l.f. website there are more shades and in fact just recently it looked like there were new shades or at least a new shade and I want to swatch all those for you because again especially things that are only available online it's just it's tricky and there's six dollars each which is not a ton of money generally speaking but if you're going to order online and free shipping is $25 and you have a thing about like many of us do about getting to that free shipping mark, um, it might be something you want to add on to an order of something you already want or you may want to get several or you know you may just want to know which is the one for me. So let's just start. This color is always Cheeky which I have found in most stores. Generally I go to Target but I've seen it in other drugstores as well. This is how it's packaged. I always like to show you the packaging in case you're looking in store and want to know exactly what you're looking for. Um, not just what the product looks like, but you know, what kind of packaging you're looking for. And when you take them out, very simple, round, pretty packaging. There is no mirror on these. And as I said, this is always cheeky. And this is one that I've been able to find pretty readily in drugstores. It's a pale peach warm tone. Gosh, these feel so soft. I'm always surprised at how, even though I know these are good, like I'm surprised at how good they are. So let's start here with Always Cheeky. And I may build these up a little bit um, just so you really get a good sense of what the color's like. So there's Always Cheeky. And it's not going to show up that deep on your cheek, but I do want you to see kind of the difference in the colors here. Next one is Always Punchy. Now this one was new and this is what I'm wearing today. Always Punchy, which is a good old peachy pink. Um, shows up a little more pink, I think, right there than it does to me. To me it looks just a touch more peachy, um, but let's see how it compares to Always Cheeky. I think you're gonna see, yeah, you can see the difference there between. This is just much more peachy and this does have pink in it um, but again it looks a little more peach to my eye than it does um, through the camera. And the next one is always peachy so I should mention always punchy um, was one that I could only find online this is another one I could only find online and I found this a really interesting color I mean look at that color it's like light orange it's very different than any peach that I typically see uh, from any brand, but a drugstore brand in particular. So here is always Peachy, which is almost a pale orange. You can definitely see the difference between that and what, you know, in the beginning looked like a pretty standard peach. So I thought that was interesting because that's not a color I typically see. Um, and I just think it's interesting that, that Elf chose to put that in this collection of such fantastic blushes. You know, good for them for putting something different in that maybe you wouldn't expect. Next one we're going to look at is Always Rosy. And I think probably most of the reviews I've seen on this type of blush is Always Rosy. This is the one that I have always see at Target. I see it at Walgreens, wherever it is. So Always Rosy 
which is a pretty mid-tone. It is rose, but it's um, it's just kind of in the middle. It's not overly pink. It's not overly warm. It's a fairly neutral, even though it's pink, pink and rosy, but it is pretty much a rosy shade. Next one is always Earthy. Again, this is one I only found on the website. So this is a more neutral blush. Still can't believe how soft those are. These are such good blushes. Always Earthy. Really pretty neutral blush. And look at that swatch. I mean, these are just such good blushes. This one is really light. So that always cheeky um, might be perfect if you're really fair skinned, but it could be too light for you. So that's one of the reasons I want to do these comparisons so you can really see like, okay, what do these really look like? Um, so I said always earthy. Next one is much deeper. And this is one that I found in store. Again, this is always spicy. This is, this is a deep, I'm almost going to say reddish brown, um, which might be fantastic if you have a deeper skin tone. You see the red undertone there though? Interesting. Certainly deeper than uh, Always Earthy and with that reddish undertone. And I also like that even with this very limited range, I mean it's only seven shades, they go from really light to pretty darn deep. And I think that's great. You know, I feel like that suits more people and you know, more people should have opportunity to get in on really good makeup that isn't necessarily really expensive makeup. And the last one I have is Always Fiery. And this one I have not seen in store um, I only saw it on the website. So always fire is the last one here. And that is a bright reddish orange. So again, we go from, you know, really, really pale peach to just a really vibrant, beautiful, um, bright reddish orange, which I think is so cool. I just think the, the shade, I'm going to swatch a little more on the always rosy just because my swatches aren't like the same size. I'm no swatch master, I assure you. <laughs> I just like to give you the info as well as I can. Um, I'm going to add just a touch to this so it looks a little more even. But there you are. There are the swatches of all of the shades of the e.l.f. Primer Infused Matte blushes, which they have added some shades to, which I think is, is really great. I like doing comparisons next to each other so you really get a sense of what things look like. So again, it's always cheeky, always punchy, always peachy. Always rosy, always earthy, always spicy, and always fiery. And those are all the shades. And I have not worn all of them. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, what do I think of these, particularly these deeper shades, because clearly I'm a pretty light, uh, fair to light skin tone. I think this might make a fantastic an interesting bronzer. I might try that. And I also think even with deeper shades like this, if you do have a lighter skin tone, I think, you know, if you've got a, a really wispy duo fiber brush, you might get a beautiful shade out of these. Sometimes it's about how you apply it and not necessarily the color. Um, like always punchy is what I have on today. And I put that, you know, I probably put three coats. <laughs> it's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Brushed it on three times, and I admit I built it up a little bit just so you could really see it in the video. Um, but I think, you know, you could potentially try these too. Um, and if you do have a deeper skin tone, look at that. These are so pretty, and I think that's so great. Um, and like this one, even on me, this always cheeky, I can't really build that up to a color that I prefer. So, but if you're really fair and you've been looking for something and you feel like most blushes are just too much, that might be a good one. So I give kudos to e.l.f. once again. e.l.f.'s just been really making me happy lately um, with the expansion of this line and just having a really good blush formula that is $6. And I would say it's drugstore, but some of it you do have to order online. Once in a while they offer free shipping on everything, which is great, um, but you never know when that's gonna happen. So as always, I hope that was helpful because that is my only purpose here. And I so appreciate that you just let me talk to you about makeup. It seems frivolous, I realize, to some people, which I get, I totally get. Are there greater issues in the world? Oh uh, yeah. But it brings me great joy and it is brings me peace in the morning when I put on makeup and it, it seems like an unimportant thing and yet if something brings you great joy, 
I think that's okay. And I'm glad to be part of that and I'm glad to bring you information if that's helpful because your money matters and the stuff gets expensive. Anyway, that's all I have. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.